Good morning, it is the Project of Florida. This is Adina speaking. How can I help? I had a dream that there was nooses all along the dock. And these guys were walking out there, putting their head in the noose, and they're, they're being uh, executed. And I'm sweeping the dock. And then finally, when they got done with the last one, the officer says, come on, Bennett, put your head in the noose. I'm about ready to go home. And I'm looking at him like, you're kidding me, right? You're kidding me. He should remain a convicted murderer. Uh, he did it. Coming August 8th, Florida Today is proud to roll out Murder on the Space Coast, a podcast series told in six parts, detailing one of Brevard County's most troubling murders and convictions. It's a graphic tale and certainly may not be suitable for younger or sensitive listeners. It's the protecting conviction at all costs, even if we have clear evidence that someone's innocent. We need real wholesale systemic changes if we want to have a have a system that we can all be proud of uh, you know, for people who care about a just society. On July 13th, 1983, a 55-year-old Palm Bay woman was found stabbed 26 times with four different weapons, including an ice pick that was in so deep it had to be removed with vice grips. The other weapons used were a knife, a screwdriver, and a pair of scissors. She was found naked. Blood was everywhere. Several people could have wanted her dead, because of the life she led and the terrible, hurtful choices she had made. But almost immediately, the attention focused on one suspect. And when the evidence they had wasn't enough, well, let's just say it didn't really matter. Just again, for the record, did you ever have sex with Helen Norton? No, I did not. Even like way before never. this? Never. Okay. Never. And did you kill Helen Norton? No, I did not. Have you ever killed anybody? No, sir. That's what they did to us. They took young kids that were easy to do, we were easy to throw away, and they just took and they throw us away. And now society won't, won't try to correct the problem. So, is the wrong person in prison? Or was this just a really tough case? Is this a case of justice or injustice? Tune in August 8th to Murder on the Space Coast and find out. I'm news columnist John A. Torres. <laughs>